get out of the way real quick. Anything new you can say on Dean? He's gonna start, play 40 minutes. <laughs> Confirmed? <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> no, I, he, he's made some progress, but um, I, I would say he's doubtful. Yeah, he just, it's still, we can't put him in jeopardy. And he, he, you know, he'd love to play. It's not him at all, but he just, uh, the injury was more severe than we ever anticipated. and. It's gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take a little time. Is that doubtful for the whole or just? For I don't know. You know that he he has made some progress and he's moving a little better without pain. They still have him in the boots and still have. Um, you know he's off and on on crutches just to kind of ease the pain and he's doing treatment. All he was in there today, three. You know a couple, two, three times and you know trying the best. But um, you know we just. It is what it is. We can't do much about it. Can you tell us what the injury is? is I, it just, he hurt his foot. I mean, you know, he's had a bunch of issues. So, you know, it just, and again, it happened in the Oklahoma game in the first half. And, you know, he played through that in the second half. I think so much adrenaline that wanted to win the, the Big 12 championship. And then, you know, I, I just, I was with him after at the press conference and he, it was, it was, it was hurting. And, you know, I didn't think it was, you know, it, he just, he had had so many issues that next morning, though, it was not doing well. And so we just, uh, you know, we can't, it, it's just sad. It's sad for him. You know, I just, my heart goes out to him and, you know, obviously it affects our team, but uh, for him two years in a row not to be able to play in the NCAA. And I think just, and I've told so many people that, you know, he never got to show what he can do his whole senior year because it's been so hodgepodge with with the injuries and not practicing and that. And, you know, just hoping the long haul he can get healthy and, and uh, you know, give it a shot for his professional career down the road. Do you think Barry's ready mentally and physically enough rest these past few uh, days? I, yeah, he actually they got three days. They got Saturday, Sunday, uh, Monday. Basically, we just we shot a little bit, and um, you know today we practice. You know you're not going much. We were probably on the court about an hour and fifteen, hour twenty. Uh, but you know he he was there early to shoot today, so you know he he wants him and Cam. They want to do well, uh, but. Uh, you know, it's it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be more everybody. I think it's it, the key is, uh, you know, how much we get out of everybody. And this in first game, they're big, so our big guys who haven't played a lot, they might have an opportunity to play. Um, you know, and just every little play makes a big difference. Setting up any more on UC Irvine? Oh yeah, I mean they're good. I mean it's, there's no doubt. Obviously everyone's predicting we're going to lose, so they somebody must think something. But uh, you know they've won 16, what 16 in a row? They've won 30 games. We knew them from last year. Nine of those guys played last year. Uh, they got great balance. They come at you in a lot of ways. Kind of old school basketball. Uh, two power guys. They're posting you up. They, you got a rebound with them plus seven. But I, hopefully we can disrupt them a little bit. But, you know, we'll see what happens, uh, you know, with, with that. Uh, you, know, our, you know, they're, they're good. They're, but they, not only the big guys, but the guards have some quickness. They can push it. They'll, they'll, they'll attack you in a lot of different ways. I'm sure it goes without saying that you, you're playing this up pretty big in the locker room about everyone picking against you guys, even though you're the four seed. Well, I don't know. I mean, it just it is what it is. I mean, the players, we you know, we definitely brought it up to them, and yeah. you know, more than anything, to realize how good um, how good Cal Irvine is in the respect. I mean, I I heard people predict they're going to the Sweet 16, so you know that that's a that's a mouthful, so, you know, and that. Every year they pick somebody. I don't think anyone picked UMBC last year, that's for sure. And and they found a way to win. And that's the fun of the tournament. You you know, it's it's got to control what you can throw. You know, our preparation. You know, we're getting out. We're getting out there early. We're getting mentally ready. Um, our our how hard we play. Our defense. All that stuff's got to be a big factor in the game. You bring up UMBC. Do you tell the team this is very similar in that you know they're going to be a lower seed. They're a little closer home. So it's basically going to be a road game for you guys in a way in that regard. Oh, I don't fans know. I, I I don't know if they will or not. Okay. You know, a lot of times you know that does happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been there at Southern Illinois, and everyone kind of jumps on you, especially mm -hmm. if the game gets close yeah. or whatever. So. But we went through that last year, and we played a lot of road games in a lot of hostile places mm -hmm. this year. Um, you know, so we we've been very successful winning games, and you know it. Uh, you know, we'll we'll uh, we just gotta be ready to play and play. You know, you just hope you play at a high level. That's in compete.